This is interesting. Um, it is April 19th, 2022. Um, they're mentioning tonight on the news program about a doorman strike in Manhattan, which normally deals with luxury New Yorkers. I have not been kept as one. I have not participated as one. Um, I mean, I've been in, I, at the time, I was in Long Island where they don't have doormen um, for the residents that I was allowed access to. Um, but I know a doorman shows significance in its stature or status in Manhattan for whatever that means. Um, they're um, thinking of going on strike in Manhattan. I don't know what the backstory to that is. Again, I have no access to them. Um, earlier, I saw with a purple and yellow that they were already they were already on strike. Now on the four almost four o'clock news, they're saying that they're thinking of going on strike. This is the um, confusing part of the broadcast. Um, when um, I met somebody by the name of Alec on a ski trip to Fishkill with St. John's. However I got there, however we had a ski trip with the Astoria High School I was in for that last year when I had those green contacts. Um, green contacts meaning surrounding my iris or and my sclera was white as anything. Um, I went there. Um, I barely can recall the memory of the trip. What I do remember is driving home. Someone asked to drive my car, which I let him, uh, and he drove me as far as Manhattan where he needed to go. Um, and then he got out to his building, um, and it looked like a doorman building, but I can't verify that because I waited in the car, as he had asked um, me to do. And then, um, that was it, that's all I remember. That was 95, 96. Something like that. Um, so tonight, this is how confusing this debate is. It starts off with the doorman thinking thinking of striking, all, but on the 4 o'clock news, today being April 19th, 2022. And then it goes into um, New Jersey, where I did not realize uh, New Jersey has a Penn Station. I had no idea. I thought only Manhattan had a Penn Station. But again, travel being what it is. Um, and then these confusing sections of when to mask, when to not mask, based on governors and states. They're saying, the governors are saying that they base their, or at least Phil Murphy says he's, he bases it off of um, the federal system. Uh, but the federal system, again, so Governor Murphy saying in New Jersey, you don't have to wear it, but at some places in New York you do. And then depending on the outlet or the sources, I mean, I'm staying put for the moment and I'm just in observance, but just from a couch potato or a chair, just watching this unfold, it is very confusing between New York, because there's so much movement, then there's so many different variants of people. And then they have different exposure to what information networks, who's leading them, 
what congregation, what mass. I mean, like, these are words that then fold over into scientific terms. Tell New York City doormen go on strike where the negotiations between the union and landlords stand with 32 hours to go until the deadline. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Sandra Bookman. Liz has the day off. I'm David Navarro. We'll have more on those stories in a moment, but we begin with all the confusion this afternoon surrounding masks. A federal judge's decision to overturn the national mask man... I think... I don't know about all of Manhattan, but mostly I would... Do the, does, do the princely racket, are they the ones who get dormant? I, again, I, I don't know, because the one person I met, I don't remember very well. Mandate for public transportation has created a mishmash of rules across the tri-state area. Take a look at this list. For example, if you're riding in New Jersey Transit, you can ditch the mask. But if you get on an MTA train or bus in New York, you need to mask up. If you're at Newark Airport, you don't need a mask. But it's just black and white, right? I mean, holy cow. Here's white on black. Here's black on white. And here's the inverse of what they're purporting. Who's leading? I mean, what, what empirical data set do you go with in order to keep Empire State in line with what needs to be cleaned up between Princely Racket, the Kingdom, the U.S., the Us, all their variants, what they've invested in, who took prepayments on some super whatever. I mean, this is like, who took debt? who owes whom, were on an energy crisis, if they had these things lined up for nuclear credits, were they getting cash advances? Were they making these long-term plans with cash that was advanced to them? Or did they have to earn it during their long haul through this long COVID, which led to now, yesterday they alerted, Georgia actually got a nuclear power plant in the States. That's a problem. But that's been a long-going problem. Now that blankets out. They, now they have access to making nuclear stuff. And whatever that means. Because a couch potato, they don't tell you. But it lets out this gas, greenhouse gas, that makes it toxic for humans to live underneath or within. It changes the biochemistry. It changes the atmospheric chemistry. It affects everything to do with your humanness and your ability to perform in some fashion. Why would they pull for this? But if you're at Kennedy and LaGuardia airports, you do. They got it straight. Meanwhile, on top of all of this, today, Uber and Lyft also announced masks are now optional, but that doesn't apply to anyone in New York City, because here, the Taxi Limousine, limousine Commission's mask mandate remains in effect. Uh, yeah, there is a lot here. So now you have the airports have one system, the mass transit has another, then the livery system, which is what I think how they refer to from watching this. I'm starting to catch on to some of their lingo. The livery system being the taxi service, now it's Uber and something called Lyft. They are, I don't know, reporting somewhere? They're getting instructed from somewhere? Not quite sure. With all these variants and with all of these really, like, these variations... Eyewitness News reporter Michelle Charlesworth is live at Newark's Penn Station to try and break it down for us. Michelle? I will try. That was. And then it's like, okay, so the authoritative, they know who to speak to, how to speak to them, and what their piece is in their princely racket from whatever they're doing in upper echelon with something. Is that a naval no? Is that a... Who's, is that fleet? Is that my fleet? Is that somebody else's fleet in charge? Like, it's a... 
And then you are this person, like myself, walking on the street, and you're like, all right, well, because, I mean, I'm purposely not traveling because I don't want to get my part wrong, and I'm just in observance at the moment. But if I did want to follow along, so in Jersey, I could take off the mask, but if it goes into Manhattan, at what point in Manhattan? And then you have to try, like, I mean, should we be taking diligent notes? To follow this because then if you get in an Uber, I mean, it's, I mean, it is, it's a lot for the public to have to shoulder to figure this out just because someone else got their part wrong. That was very entertaining, you two, but uh, so we're in New Jersey, in New Jersey, on New Jersey transit, on the buses and the trains, we have a choice as of early this because that mask is a signaling. Like, you shouldn't be, you should be socially distant from all the variations and all the problems in New York City. So Princely Rocket could do their investigation properly with the no and who is in the no and are you in the no? I have no arm of a six foot over to look up to and ask if these are just suggestions or if this is really how the show is running at the moment and how to keep safe. I mean, it gets really confusing. This morning, whether or not to wear these, we went to Newark Penn Station, right next to the buses and the trains. So what do people think? I will not be wearing anymore. Are you so happy? Yes, definitely. When I get on a train, when I get on the bus, my mask is on. I'm still going to wear my mask. Because why? Because there are a lot of germs out here. Right, there's a lot of germs. There's a lot of not us inside this us, which puts us at risk. But it's only in this type of situation because someone before us dragged us into this. And now it's like, oof, at what point does this get corrected? There are still signs... Not supposed to talk politics or religion in public spaces. All right. But what are the rules on that as well? I mean, better to just silence myself. I've done that. Signs up on buses warning us to mask up. But this morning at 6.43, the tweet came from the governor that the mask mandate for public transportation was over. We almost always take the lead from the feds, and the feds uh, have chosen not to contest this decision, and the TSA has said they're fine with it. Well, no mask. No mask? No. So you're excited. I'm excited because, like, finally we can take out the mask off. You're, you're glad? Good. Yeah, I'm happy. Yeah, that's good. You got to keep these things handy, though, because even though I'm standing in Newark Penn Station, where it's optional now, these trains go into New York, and you've got to wear these on the path on subways and in cabs and Ubers. In the city, the MTA still has mask rules, which the mayor likes. We should still have masks on the subway system. New York is unique. It's, we are densely populated. Uh, we see the slight spikes. I think New Yorkers did the right thing about wearing a mask. Looking around here in Newark at Penn Station. How did we become so densely populated? When did that happen? We saw some masking up, and others happy to pull them off. So uh, I guess the rule of thumb is going to be we got to keep these in our purses and pockets just in case we go into the city. Um, a lot of people saying, oh my gosh, after two years, this is why we did the uh, shots, we had the vaccines, we did the booster. We're here now, I can't believe it. Other people saying... Booster, was that a fundraising event? Boy, that was fast. We're live at Newark Penn Station. Michelle Charles with Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Thank you, Michelle. Well, the Biden administration was going to lift mask mandates for travel in about two weeks, but now the White House says passengers can decide for themselves if to wear a mask or not. This means the TSA is no longer enforcing face coverings on planes or in airports. And local officials and individual companies can now make their own rules. United, American, Delta, Southwest, JetBlue, and Alaska Airlines have all dropped their mask mandates. But 
Other airlines and some airports have not gotten rid of their mask requirements, so travelers could face a different rule along their trip. This is obviously... This is so confusing. Based on what I heard and what parallel paradox might mean. Um, it's frightening. a disappointing decision. The CDC continues recommending wearing a mask in public transit. It's fantastic news. If you want to play that. So now there's the federal, there's FAA, there's a CDC, then there's the Gov, then there's the U.S., this, then there's the corporate of Uber and Lyft. And there's a whole lot of, I don't know what, this is on a KMGH, whatever that means, I don't know. That game, you know, go ahead, but I'm going to keep the mask on. Uh, President Biden says he has not decided whether to appeal the judge's ruling. The decision comes as 34 states and territories are seeing at least a 10% rock. This is the first time this map has changed. It, this is the second broadcast in the same day that this has changed. Rise in COVID cases. Well, we want to make it easier for you to navigate all these changes. You can find a list of... So what do they do? They put you on to more energy, which is what it all boils down to normally anyway, which is to get everybody hooked on these energy reliant whatever whether it be cars and so on and so forth and then it leads to this nuclear conversation and then it leads to sustainability and then the, there's this transport thing now that's been a big problem um and it's like the round and round you go but i don't see anything getting fixed in fact it's been getting worse um, I mean, like, I feel like these are after the facts. Like, after they've done what they've done, not allowing what needed to be done to go into effect. It's star 1978, star 8378, Nicole Catarusa. It's Earth, Solar System, Milky Way, Universe, Galaxies, Broken, and it's Bayside Station, Bayside, New York, 11361. 